today I'm going to show you how to replace the head gasket on a VW Caddy van. It's a 1.9 straight diesel, no turbo. First thing we do is take off the air box and air intake. So the next job is to mark on the timing belt the cam position and the position of the injection pump and then take off the timing belt. So we remove this cover. I'm going to use Tipex for this. There's also locking tools you can buy. This works just grand though. We'll mark the exact tooth and the position on the belt. Now I'm going to loosen the tensioner. Slide the belt off. And leave it aside. Next thing we have to do is take off the pulley off the injection pump because otherwise this here plate will hold the injection pump together to the cylinder block which means that we'd have to take off the injection pump as well. So to do that we hold the centre with a 19mm and use a 13 to take off these bolts individually. So that's that off. Okay. So next we have to disconnect um, the cooling lines cooling going into the cylinder head. There's two flanges, one on the front and one over here on the side. So that's that one disconnected, you can see it from the side. Be sure to save this o-ring here, which is very important. Next check out this cooling temperature sensor or oil temperature sensor. And another two 10mm bolts.
Next we have to remove the rocker cover. So there's three bolts on the top that hold it on. It's little plastic caps that you can just twist off with your fingers. Down the side. Then three 10 mil bolts. Then remove the screw here from the breather pipe. We should be able to wedge that off with the screwdriver. There we go. Should then pry off. So next to take off this cover we have to take out these three bolts which hold the injector pump in. They're 13 mil. You can also see here, I've marked with Tipex the last position of the injector pump. So next we have to take off the injector lines from the injectors. 17 mil spanner, it shouldn't be too hard. They're all loose now. Next job is to take out the head bolts. To that we use a number 12 star wrench. There's 10 head bolts. Starting from the center you work your way out in a star format. I've already these broken loose. After you've broken them loose with a breaker bar, you can simply spin them out. So the next job is to remove the exhaust from the exhaust manifold. There's four bolts at the bottom, 17 mil bolts, that when you're removed, the exhaust should pop off hopefully. And then we can lift the cylinder head straight out.
an overhead off and we can take out the gasket. So we've taken out the old head gasket, cleaned up the head, checked if everything is straight, any cracks between the cylinders, between the liners in the block, and everything seems okay. So we put on our new gasket the right way around hopefully. There's one centering dowel in the block to line the head up with. So we're gonna do everything in reverse order that we did it and get it bolted up and torqued to the right specifications. So when torquing the head of any car, you generally get a diagram with the head gasket, which shows you the order in which to tighten things. And also how tight to tighten each bolt. In this case, we start off 14 Newton meters, 40, then we do 60, then we do two 90 degree turns to finish off. So first of it's set at 40. So next we're going to do them all to 60 newton meters. So now we're going to do 90 degrees on each one. Go. Yeah, go. <laughs> 